Google's medical clinical agent just got multi-model capabilities. So what does this mean? So last year, Google had released a research AI system for diagnostic medical reasoning and conversation known as AMIE. So what was this system about? So this system was about how can you make use of LLMs for diagnostic reasoning and conversations. So this is a research AI system or you can call it as an agent which can you know uh, help the patient have conversations okay so what this system was doing was it can actually you know uh, create conversations with patients so that was the idea over here so for example like a patient is uh, you know putting a symptom like this i experience central chest pain then this model can actually reason with the patient okay or this agent can reason with the patient and then it can come up with the diagnosis okay so ami is a research ai system based on llms for diagnostic reasoning and dialogue but what happens in real world you you just don't have uh, text conversations al uh, alone right with your uh, clinician right even in a telemedicine setting you can share multimodal information like images documents so for example you are talking with a dermatologist online uh, in a telemedicine setting so the dermatologist may ask you to take a photo of the part which was affected for example you have itching fingers or you have a sore on your skin right or you have something in your legs so they might ask you to take a photo and share it and then the doctors would have a conversation they try to you know come up with a diagnosis right but currently amie did not have this multimodal capability so the whole point is how do they bring in this multimodal capability over here okay so that they can advance amie to intelligently request interpret and reason about visual medical information in a clinical conversation so that it can work towards an accurate diagnosis and management plan so to this end what they did was they built a multimodal gemini 2.0 flash as the core component so this agentic system they developed an agentic system that optimize its response based on the face of the conversation and its evolving uncertainty regarding the underlying diagnosis so this combination resulted in a history taking process that better emulated the structure of history taking that is common in real world clinical practice and they also evaluated it okay so what they did over here was they introduced something called as a multimodal state aware reasoning framework which is aware of its internal state which captures its knowledge about the patient at a given point in the conversation it gathers information efficiently and effectively to derive appropriate diagnosis by requesting for multimodal information as and when applicable okay they also created a simulation environment for dialogue evaluation in which ami converses with the simulated patients based on multimodal scenarios grounded in real world data sets so that's how they train this system okay so as i said before real clinical diagnostics have a structured yet flexible path so clinicians can gather information methodologically uh, to form potential diagnosis they can also request and interpret further details from a variety of wide variety of multimodal data which could be skin photos which could be lab measurements which could be ecg measurements which could be ultrasound reports which could be mri reports which could be ct reports right so there could be multiple types of multimodal information and based on that evidence they can ask appropriate clarification questions to resolve information gaps and come up with diagnostic possibilities so similar thing they did over here by introducing this state aware reasoning and creating a multimodal uh, component okay using gemini 2.0 flash so what they are saying is that to equip ami with a similar dialogue capabilities they introduce this novel state aware phase transition framework that orchestrates the conversation flow leveraging gemini 2.0 flash this framework dynamically adapts the responses based on intermediate model outputs and reflect the evolving patient state diagnostic hypothesis and uncertainty okay uh, so this particular thing can request ami can now request relevant multimodal artifacts when needed interpret their findings accurately integrate this information seamlessly into the online dialogue and use it to refine diagnosis and guide further questioning so the whole point of this ami over here is to actually from the patient correct history information then provide a diagnosis management and then you know you have answer follow up questions from the patient right but during this process depending upon the state of the conversation it can ask for additional multimodal information and based on that it can update its internal diagnosis okay improve the diagnosis that's the whole idea over here so this is what they talk about the state aware uh, reasoning where you have three distinct phases with clear objective one is history taking get clear history of the patient then how do you give a diagnosis and management and then follow up okay so that is the thing over here
right so here is an example they talk about you know how this state aware reasoning works in practice so if you go to the example if you see this is the ami reasoning state so initial history taking is happening over here so the first thing the patient says that you know the, the spots are small red and raised they seem to form so uh, line on the skin the itching is intense so here the patient is complaining about her husband uh, uh, she says that she also has some uh, rashes on the fingers wrist her husband also has then the model says thank you for providing these details it has understood that you know it is helpful to know uh, that uh, these things are happening uh, the fact that itching is worse at night your hus husband is also uh, experiencing is very useful information to get a but better understanding could you sh please share a picture so it requests for multimodal information so the patient gives the pictures and says that cooling additional information is provided here then the model is able to understand this better and then it asks for further questions over here like have you been ex uh, exposed to any new environments or products and then you know conversation kind of continues okay so visual confirmation requested and received and based on that it updates its internal reasoning state okay uh, so that's about an example of how this multimodal capabilities are integrated into you know a real example of how this AMIE works okay with multimodal capabilities so to accelerate development they also created a simulation environment where they are creating this simulated conversation with multimodal data so they have an agent a patient agent uh, they have AMIE so the patient age interacts with AMIE uh, they create this simulated dialogue and then there is a auto rater agent to evaluate how well you know this conversation is going on and how well this simulated dialogue is going on and how the system is actually uh, you know providing the correct kind of diagnosis so they have created an auto rater agent which evaluates the simulated dialogues against predefined clinical criteria such as diagnostic accuracy information gathering effectiveness management plan and safety so hallucination detection so in this way they are continuously improving this particular AMIE agent okay so they also did an expert evaluation so they created this particular uh, virtual OSCE study now OSCE stands for objective uh, where do we have that we have it over here uh, it stands for objective structured clinical examinations which is a standardized assessment used globally in medical education so using that they created a virtual study uh, you know a remote expert study with 105 case scenarios where validated patient actors engaged in conversations with AMIE or primary care physicians in the style of an OSCE study. Okay, these sessions were performed through a chat interface where patient actors could upload multimodal artifacts, example skin photos, mimic the functionality of multimedia instant messaging platforms. So they introduced a framework for evaluating multimodal capability in the context of diagnostic dialogues along with other clinically. Uh, meaningful metrics such as history taking, diagnostic accuracy, management, reasoning, communication skills and empathy. So based on that the evaluation was done and what they are saying is that AMIE can outperform PCPs, primary care physicians in interpreting multimodal data in a simulated instant messaging consultation. It also scored higher in other key indicators of consultation quality such as diagnostic accuracy, management, reasoning and empathy. Okay, so that is what they are saying over here. AMIE can produce more accurate and more complete differential diagnosis than PCPs in this research setting. Okay, so does it mean the system is better than doctors? No, that's what they say over here, right? Uh, in their limitations, they say that you know it is only a research style study which substantially underrepresents the complexity and extent of multimodal data, disease, patient presentation, characteristics, and concerns of real world care. So the real world clinical domain is much more complex. This is a simplified study. Okay. It can also underrepresent the considerable expertise of clinician as it occurs in an unfamiliar setting without usual practice tools. So this is a research system. It needs to be seen in that way and it needs to evolve okay, before it can be put into real world use. Another limitation is real-time audio-video interactions. In telemedical practice, physicians and patients more commonly have richer real-time multimodal information with voice-based interaction over video calls. Chat-based interactions are less common and inherently limit the physician's and patient's ability to share non-verbal cues, perform visual assessments and conduct guided examinations, all of which are readily available and often essential for providing high-quality care in remote consultations. So they are working towards how can um, you know they get real-time audio-video-based interaction for AMIE. So this is future work. So this is uh, quite an interesting development, I would say, uh, in the field of AI agents for clinical or medical systems, right? How do you bring in a clinical or uh, AI doctor, basically? So this is an interesting development. They've also released this paper, so you can check uh, the paper to understand more about 
multi model AMIE. Hope this video is useful. See you in another video.